Government has released a tentative burial program for the fallen minister indicating that the body is to remain in Mulago where it was transferred last night for a postmortem till Monday. Information and National Guidance Minister Mary Okurut confirmed during an emergency press briefing saying that the body will be brought to parliament on Monday for members of parliament to pay tribute. So the body will be transported to his ancestral home in Ubutebo where it will spend the night and that's where the video will be. And then um, on Wednesday, that is when the burial is slated to take place again in his ancestral home in Obutebo. His junior minister, Musa Ichweru, says the country has lost a person of high integrity. If there is anything that appeared like there was some problem among the Tesla leaders, the members of parliament in particular. <laughs> Honorable Malinga was always the, the, the leader who tried to bring us together. So the bridge maker is gone. While the Ministry of Health, where he worked from 2006 to 2011, says they will always remember his efforts in the fight against HIV AIDS. But as a colleague who is a doctor, who is a senior doctor who has worked for this country and the global community, Dr. Malinga practiced in the Americans and other places. So I think we will miss him. His contribution is recognized and we just pray that his soul rest in eternal peace. Dr. Malinga died at the age of 69 years and his body still lies at Mulago Hospital Mochari where a team of experts led by Mulago Executive Director Biarugaba Batirana are still carrying out the postmortem. But as doctors say, they have lost a great colleague who has fought for the quality health care. Dr. Malinga acquired a bachelor's degree in medicine from Makerere University before moving to the USA. Malinga later returned to Uganda in 1996 and has been the member of parliament for Butebo constituency in Palisa before being appointed minister in 2006 after crossing to the NRM from UPC in 2005. May his soul rest in internal peace.